the ringing experiment. Before we begin, let's do a recap on the transport structure in the plant. The stem is covered by the epidermis, and the phloem and xylem are grouped together to form the vascular bundle. Let's zoom in to the vascular bundle. We see that the phloem is on the outside, while the xylem is in the inside. Do you remember the structure and function of the phloem? Pause the video to think. Yeah, you're right. The phloem is made up of the sieve tube element as well as the companion cell. Do you remember what's the difference between the xylem and the phloem? We know that the xylem is dead, whereas the phloem is alive due to its companion cells. Movement of water and mineral salts in the xylem is unidirectional from the roots to the leaves. Whereas, movement of manufactured food in the phloem is bidirectional. The transport of manufactured food substances such as amino acids and sucrose in the plant is known as translocation. How can we show that the phloem carries materials from the leaves to the other parts of the plant? We can do this through the ringing experiment. So first, we will cut off a complete ring from the bark of the main stem of the woody twig. Make sure that the ring is above the water level. Next, we will set up a control using the unringed twig. What is a control? Write down your answer in your worksheet. Ensure that the bottom end of the twigs are in contact with water and observe the twigs daily. Note the swelling that appears. What will happen to the tissue below the cut? Pause and predict what you will see. That is all. Please write down your answers and share your explanation with your group mates. 